Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Jones and welcome to this edition of our program. We have a special platform for you this evening because we have a whole lot of models on our program today. My co-host here, Bianca Nagad, brings every week uh, a variety of good guests and so it's good to see uh, so many people here today. A stage uh, with models later uh, and the directors of uh, the top model worldwide Bahamas agency. Bianca, it's good to see you. It's great to be here. And uh, you dress in black like most of the leaders of uh, <laughs> top model Bahamas. Yes, just as you are. <laughs> very, very, very good. And um, top model Bahamas has been doing some wonderful work in the Bahamas and so let's introduce the leaders. Bernadette Robinson who is the director next to me. Uh, good to see you. Thank you. And uh, uh, Phil Cooper, stage director. I saw you here before. Yeah. Yes. Chick Chani. Yes. <laughs> Chick Chani. The magic of the Chick Chani. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have uh, Travis Bow, who is the assistant director. Yes. And uh, Mr. Ronson Sands, who is marketing director. Uh, tell us how it got started. Well, um, as a former model. Mm. I always believe that models don't have an opportunity to travel outside of the country, so I wanted to give them that opportunity. Okay. I've done a program similar before from Grand Bahama. I did Ford Supermodel of the Bahamas with Ford Modeling Agency from New York. Okay. I had three winners from the competition there travel to Puerto Rico, Miami, and the Dominican Republic. Mm. And uh, I moved to Nassau shortly after but I didn't have the opportunity to continue uh, that dream. Mm -hmm. So I just decided last year that I just wanted to give models the opportunity to travel again. And so I formed a partnership with Top Model Worldwide in the UK. Okay. And they have a competition called Top Model, which is also going to be in March 2020. And the winner of their competition will have the opportunity to walk in Fashion Week in London, Paris, or any one of the four big fashion um, District. districts in, okay. the, in the world. So our winner will go and compete, and hopefully they'll win, and they'll have that opportunity to, to travel. walk Fashion Week and travel so, to London. So Fashion Week is a big deal in Europe, isn't it? It <coughs> sure is. Yes. Now tell me how you got hooked up with these fellas. Um, <laughs> your, your, your supporting directors. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Philip and I are both models. Okay. Um, Philip has done a lot of work in the modeling industry, and I just I got to know him throughout the years, mm -hmm. and he and I just formed a good friendship. And so I approached him about joining. Um, the venture, mm -hmm. and he was very interested, mm -hmm. and yeah. so was Travis. I'm not a model, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a model. Far from it. Okay. You 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 don't you don't have the you don't have the size and the shape no. to be a model. <laughs> <laughs> the the je ne sais quoi. I don't have it. <laughs> what do you call it? The je ne sais quoi. The, oh, no, I, I don't see. have it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I thought it was the savoir faire. <laughs> 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 yes, okay. I have neither of those. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And um, Travis is, he's, he may not be a model, but Travel has the, the business instinct. Yeah, he knows the industry. And so he knows the industry. Mm. Um, he's very familiar with it. And so I thought he would add a different dynamic. Mm. He keeps me whole okay. um, throughout mm -hmm. this whole uh, competition. Mm -hmm. And so I, um, I trust his judgment. Okay. And so. You know, we have, we have a good. very good friendship very in that regard. And then there's Bronson. Bronson is also a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And Bronson is very good in marketing. And so I figure, you know, we needed someone to bring that kind of dynamic to the group as well. How many people you have in, in, in the group to, uh, uh, um, generally? We have... The top model Bahamas agency. Well, it's an agency. It's not it? an agency. It's not an agency. No. Okay. No, we're just having the, the model search. It's a production. Franchise. It's a production. It's a production company, but company. it's like it's a franchise. Okay. That we, that we okay. Have. And so this is our first one, mm -hmm. um, which, as far as we can see, is going to be very successful. Mm -hmm. And our models are gorgeous, mm -hmm. and um, they're going to add a great flavor to uh, 
It's franchise. It's so is this a competition among local models in the Bahamas? Yes. yes. Uh, for who is the best model? Yes, sir. Male and Male female? Male and female, mm. yes. All right. And uh, uh, you have about 19 of them? We have 19. Solid right now. Solid. We started right with 25, and they slowly, you know, um, decided to leave the competition for various personal reasons. Mm. And uh, some of them said that they'll, they'll do it next year okay. because it was just a little bit too much for them this year. Mm. But we have 19 who are solid and uh, determined to, to travel. So to how, how are you going about um, uh, selecting the best model? What, 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 what criteria are you using? Well, for the... And you fellas feel free to talk now. Mm. Okay. Right? okay, go ahead. It's a look. <laughs> it's the look, it's first the look. of all, eh? First of all, yeah, it's the look. Uh-huh. Yeah, personality. You'll be able to have that position yourself. Stage well presence. Say stage presence, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They have to be able to um, have that poise. Mm -hmm. They need to be able, they, we also have a spokesmodel um, segment as well that was already, um, we already had that competition. So you are the judges? You no, we were who not are the, the judges, directors? Not the who, who are judging it? Uh, the judges, the on-stage judges, we have not yet revealed. Right. <laughs> right? We had um, judges as far as the spokesmodel. We had Clarence Carvel. He's a writer and mm. poet, local. Mm. We've had um, Tracy Ferguson, who is a mm -hmm. local attorney. Mm -hmm. um, and we had, no, we had, who's the other judge? Um, um, Wendy Bo, mm -hmm. who is an educator. Mm -hmm. And they were the judges for okay. Okay. It's been a very exciting event. They had it all posted on social media, and I think over 45 people came out to audition for it. Yes. And then mm -hmm. originally the 25 were selected, and now it's down to the 19. 19. Mm -hmm. And on February the 9th, they will have the new surprise judges. Exactly. And they'll be competing, and that's when one male and one female will get the opportunity to go to London mm. to model. Mm. Exactly. Are Bahamians generally interested in, in this type of thing, uh, young Bahamians? In fashion? Yeah. And yes, they yeah. are. Uh, in modeling? In modeling, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. They are. Okay. You know, and, and we, had, we had over um, 100 people who, who were interested, mm. but a lot of them didn't come out because they were afraid. Either they were afraid or they were too young. Mm. And don't forget, we have choice model management here as well. But we have a, a huge influx of people that come in just to, uh, for the casting calls. It'll be a part of the agency. So the modeling industry here is pretty vibrant. And Top Model just allowed us to just go above and beyond. It's amazing. The right. model industry, you say, it's really an industry in the yes, Bahamas? Yes, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And there's also PTG Modeling Agency. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, they have a lot of um, models as well. And you're the dance and modeling. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so your, the, the models in the Bahamas are used uh, for uh, various events? Local like campaigns, oh, yes. international campaigns, fashion shows. Uh, the hotels. Yeah. The, um, the, some of the models um, were just um, with the, what is it, the Travel, travel Awards? The Travel Awards, On Monday. Yeah. Mm. Was like two days we had, day, Yeah, we had three of, the, three of the models who participated in that. And then they were, some of them were at the Red Ribbon Ball yes. as hostess. Mm -hmm. And then we have a lot of them that do campaigns for the hotels. So if you're serious and you, uh, if you're really serious, you're serious about modeling, you can always be booked. Always be booked and be busy. So that's a cliche people are saying these days, booked and busy. But yeah, there's, a lot, there's lots of work to do a day if you're determined to get your name out there. You have to forgive me. I don't know too much about Fashion Week. <laughs> okay. uh, but Fashion Week in, 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 in Europe. Yeah. And uh, so give us some more information on what Fashion Week is all about. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> well fashion, <coughs> sorry, fashion week is where all the top designers pretty much, it depends on what city you're in, um, such, like, uh, such as New York, you love all the top designers like Louis Vuitton, um, Prada, Dolce Gabbana, come together and they select all of the models that are pretty much the top, at the top of the game um, to come with them, walk and, uh, walk and uh, show off their clothes and stuff like that, so that's what that's about, and yeah. it happens for an entire week. Mm. So they have it in Paris, they have it in, uh, in New York and uh, China. It's and in London, it's twice London. in London. Yeah, London, and it's, all, it's, all, it's in all the major metropolitans around the world. Mm. Yeah. How difficult was it to, to, to get this, um, to be a part of Top Model? It wasn't very difficult. I reached out to Jeff Cox, who is um, the director of Top Model in the UK, mm. and I let him know that I was interested in bringing Top Model to the Bahamas. Mm. And he was very um, welcoming and mm. forthcoming um, to me about what his 
product represents. Mm -hmm. And um, after a bit of conversation and emailing back and forth, he said, you know, we can have the franchise. The standard is very high, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. It is. It I is. think the ease of, of Bernie is kind of um, dumbing down exactly yes. how, how yes. um, <laughs> hard this is. Yeah. Um, it's easy to get the franchise but it's very hard to put on the production. Yeah. There are a lot of things that come into play. You have every, everything from, you know, you have to have the selection process, first of all. And then once you get, once you've selected the models, then there's a process that they have to go through because you have to um, train them. You have to mm -hmm. hone their skill in order to make uh, the production something that is, is you know, first class. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you don't want to half step when you're doing a production such as this one, especially since this is the first one. You want to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. So the venue yeah. plays an important part. Um, getting the right looks plays an important part. Um, picking the designers. So it's a lot of things that go on behind the scene in order to make the production a top notch one. Yeah. And you know, I, like she said, I'm not, too, I'm not a model, but <laughs> I, I have an idea of what it takes to make a production mm -hmm. a success. success. Okay. And so I can assure you that this show that we're gonna put on in Feb on February night is gonna be top notch. So you um, you are behind the scenes man putting the production together. Yes, I'm I'm the one that I'm the troubleshooter, I'm the <laughs> Trouble. throw the ideas <laughs> I, I am you know, so I, I am the support staff. I see. You know, and okay. so I try to make sure that Bernie stays focused. Mm -hmm. I try to make sure that whatever we do is something, you know, we bounce ideas off one another to make sure that we come up with the right idea and the right product to move forward. Move forward. So, you know, this production is going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I've seen some photo shoots that you've been doing. I've seen some photo shoots on the beach. And have yes. you been um, also training some of the models with their walking or what kind of things oh, have yes. been going on in the competition? Yes, well, not only is it a competition, but it's also, like she said, a production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we have certain segments of the competition where there's a production going on and so they have we have to teach them the production you have to get a choreographer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we had to and like you said we had different segments where we have photo shoots and that's for one of the prizes which is um photogenic mm -hmm. or you know breast fresh face Beautiful and stuff like that so it's a lot of things behind the scenes that go into making it you know um uh, in making the production a top-notch one and like she said also there are a few awards that you have the top model, male and female, but we also have a few awards that we give out during the on that night in question for the models. It's like I said earlier, we have um, photogenic. We also have um, spokes model. Mm -hmm. We also have um, what's one of the other ones? Um, We're gonna have showstopper, which is gonna be showstopper. Showstopper. That's one yes. of the yeah. That's like the one of the categories. One of the categories, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. High fashion. You know, so it's a lot of things that. So how do you go, how, who? Uh, decided um, what to look for in, in models. There are a whole lot of young people out there who want to be models. Um, what, what, what are you looking for? Well, there are now several... You tell me you don't know that, but <laughs> models. No, no, no. <laughs> right? Yes, but there are several things that come into play when you're looking for models. There's, there's not, I don't think that there's one specific look that we're looking for, but uh -huh. there is a look. Yeah. And so we have models that have different looks, we have models that have different sizes, but there is, there only can be one top model. Right. And, and there's so a lot of pretty all, girls in the Bahamas. Yes, and, and, and of handsome uh, men. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, um, shapely um, young women. Yes. A whole lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so they all qualify to be a part of top model? No. no. Uh, tell me, tell me what, what, <laughs> what, what, what qualifies you to be a part of the group? You have to be able to walk into a room and, and everyone grab everyone's attention. Be on a stage. Well, and I can do that. Uh -huh. Yes. But then you probably can I model. Can do you probably can model. But yes, actually, in all, in all honesty, you guys are models. To be honest, because you're on TV every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you're public figures, so therefore you are pretty much models. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're not in the age Both models. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you have that certain look, height, weight. The weight type, the weight portion of it and the height portion of it is actually drilling out the window now. I see. Because you have more um, curved models now. You have uh, uh, shorter models now. And uh, so, so the industry is opening up now. Back in the day, it was a little bit more difficult to more strict. to get. Mm -hmm. It's more strict to get in the industry now. You had to be a certain size, which is really small, and a certain height, certain height, and those those doors have been broken down now. Mm -hmm. So it's just changed a little bit. But you have to be demanding in terms of your presence if you want to be a model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. so you know, and top model, you know, we expect them to embody the essence of a model, not just in look, but also in their attitude, the way mm -hmm. they carry themselves, and the way they project 
to mm. people. Yeah. We don't just want them to be stuck up and you know, not outgoing and not friendly and not kind, mm -hmm. right. right? We expect them to be totally outgoing. You know, you need to be pleasant. Mm -hmm. You need to have a pleasant personality. You need to be pleasant, beautiful inside and out. That's mm -hmm. what we expect from mm -hmm. our top model. And I think we have that in the 19 that we have right now. Okay. So, Mr. Marketing Man, where is this event going to be? It's going to be at uh, Malia? Yes. Okay. On the 9th? And you're expecting a big crowd, eh? What are you doing to make it a big, big, a big event? Well, what we are doing is we're, we're, we're using um, all of our um, social media platform, Instagram, Facebook. So we want people to come up and ensure that they, we're going to ensure that they have a, a, a great time. Great time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what are the, uh, in Fashion Week is one thing, uh, but um, in terms of, is, there are pecuniary benefits. Uh, for for people getting involved with modeling, right? Mm -hmm. some, some money involved in this thing too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's talk about that so that <laughs> young people can get very excited. Okay, okay well, <laughs> if you're being, for example, um, I've been modeling for quite some time and uh, we have gigs, you have uh, gigs such as photo shoots, um, campaigns, and you get paid per hour for, for that. So. You get paid out and you get paid well. So uh, <laughs> depending on the campaign too, right? Yeah. It depends on the level of compensation. Mm. Yeah, right? it's, it's you very have. exciting. You get to yeah, travel. Some are free. Yeah. Some are free. Yeah, sometimes, you, you know, as a model, you have to, there, there are going to be opportunities where, you know, they're going to be, to build up your portfolio. Yeah. They're mm. going to be, you, you're going to take photo shoots mm. that are going to be free or like campaign. Like seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You have to put it, you have to invest in your craft in order to get something. Yeah, you have it. to invest in your craft. Many years ago, you had um, a lot of models in, in the Bahamas, and you know, I was, uh, I can remember Princess Hannah mm -hmm. um, and Flo Miller, and, uh, even people like Pat Paul and those. Phyllis right. Galloway. Uh, uh, Phyllis Galloway. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Pepper Johnson. Yes, mm -hmm. and the list goes on the and on, on, eh? Yes, sir. And that, uh, you were excited by those people, weren't you? Because those were my mentors. Yes. Yeah. Those were my mentors growing up, and uh, they paved the way for me. Exactly. Yeah. Neil so Dames. That, this is a good opportunity to and pave the way Neil for Dames, just a name, you know. Neil uh, Dames, yes. Mm -hmm. Neil Dames, that's actually my, my biggest mentor right there. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. He taught me everything I know. Between him and Gerard. Gerard Royal Beckham. Okay. Oh, did Jesus? Okay. Right. Gerard Royal, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so the, a whole lot of them have done extremely well. Yeah, they, they've done extremely well. Um, I can't, I can't thank them enough for the lessons they taught me because it takes that. It takes that so I, mean, I just blessings and respect to them, mm -hmm. you know. But I thought the modeling um, business in the Bahamas went downhill uh, for a long time after those people uh, came off the scene. It had, it had. Um, but uh, by Gerard Roll, he came in and he introduced um, the Bahamas Fashion Icon Image, Image Awards mm. and that resurfaced. Um, the fever for modeling again. Okay. And so now everyone's chiming in and, 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 and recognizing that the, this is something to do. Okay. And yeah. then Bernadette Robinson and then she came in. Came along. Yeah, hey. then she came along. And revived the industry? I re revived I, the industry. I like to hope that I'm, I'm going to do that. <laughs> 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 we have a lot more um, in store as time goes on because once Top Model is done, um, even though we're going to begin to look at 2021, we're going to look at a lot of other things that we're going to do in between. Mm you know, in order to keep the models, our models going mm. and working. She had introduced okay. uh, 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 this franchise to the Bahamas, because like you said, modeling was dead. Before mm. this, there was Baham before this was National Design of the Year many years ago. Oh, yeah. And so now there's a revivance of modeling again. So she's bringing back that fever, that flavor to the Bahamas and to actually to the world. Because mm. we're being watched by um, Top Model UK right now. They're commenting on our Instagram and Facebook about our models and stuff. So it's and very exciting. And interacting with the models. Mm. Yeah. As well as Top Model South Africa. They also have, who else? Estonia. 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 Um, Australia. Australia. Canada. Okay. So it's like a Miss Universe of the modeling agency mm -hmm. for men and women. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a big, it's a heavy undertaking. Okay. It is. <laughs> it is. My father, as a fashion designer, when he came here, he always said that he could see the Bahamas as one of the fashion capitals of the world. Mm -hmm. He was exactly. always impressed with how Bahamians dressed, mm -hmm. and he always said at any age, you know, the elderly women would yeah. be going to church and the, the young, yeah, mm -hmm. the 
um, right, mm -hmm. and even men. He was impressed with the way that men dressed because he said that in other places, men would just look like penguins. Everybody would be the same, <laughs> <laughs> wearing their ties and their suits, but when Bahamians dress, they really add a flair, mm -hmm. add mm -hmm. different colors and their unique style. So yeah. he always spoke about that very highly, and the Bahamians are some of the most beautiful people in the whole world. Yeah. So it's really nice That's to... Okay. Yes, it's really nice to be able to get uh, the training back and these agencies back and people speaking for them and, and sending exactly. them yeah. into competitions like this. Yes. And even if, you, even if you don't win this competition, just being in modeling teaches you your poise and you know, your exactly. etiquette. And, and builds confidence and self-building. Right. Yes. Because we've seen you know, quite a few of the models um, were very quiet, very shy, very meek. And now they're very outgoing. Yeah. They're talking, they're mm -hmm. enjoying the experience. It's, it's great just to see them evolve well, yeah, see that. and Con grow. Confidence building. Eh? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And it takes them a very long much way. So. Mm -hmm. It'll take you a long way. Your confidence and your respect will take you a very long way in this mm -hmm. world. It's like our parents said, manners and respect. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. Uh, we're talking uh, with the executives here of Top Model Bahamas, and uh, I'm told that we're going to have some of these models uh, join us. So let's take this break here on our program. We'll come right back.